Well, it's a funny kind of disappointment because I'm disappointed more as a citizen of Canada, I would say, than on the personal side of things. And, you know, people might find that difficult to believe, but I'm in a fortunate position. In some ways, even if the college throws everything it can at me, there's 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 very little they can fundamentally do to disrupt my life. I'm in a privileged position compared to most professionals. And so I'm outside of their purview in many ways. But I'm stunned by the court ruling. You know, it opens up with a declaration of moral virtue, essentially, on behalf of Canadian law, a declaration of the fact that we enjoy freedom of speech, followed immediately by the proclamation that that can be limited in any way, essentially, that the colleges and the professional organizations see fit. And if that's the case, given that that's also a branch of the government, that combined with the fact that I am absolutely 100% being pursued for political reasons, as, as I can doc document mm. detail and have, I don't think that our constitutional guarantee of free speech in Canada, I don't think it exists. It's certainly not worth the paper it's written on. And this is very bad for Canadians because lawyers, physicians, psychologists, what they have to answer is their professional truth. And if we're in a situation where it's now impossible for professionals to say what they actually believe to be true, then their professions are fundamentally invalidated. And that's especially true for therapists, because therapists only have the truth.